In this video, I want to talk about my latest project, WP Cloud Run, whose goal is to serve as the ultimate uh, WordPress setup on GCP uh, Cloud Run. Please note, since this will be a very long video, I'll uh, add uh, the timestamps in the video description so you can skip between uh, sections you're interested in the most. And I'll use this uh, blog post uh, as a reference. So uh, let's get started. So by the end of this blog, or YouTube video, you'll have a fully secure DDoS proof performance scalable WordPress instance running on uh, Cloud Run, uh, backed by a Cloud SQL database and three uh, GCS buckets, uh, one for SQL backup, uh, WordPress backup, and media storage. So this is what the architecture will look like uh, in the final picture. And uh, I created a new uh, Git, uh, GitHub uh, project repository for this, so w, uh, WP Cloud Run, uh, which uh, contains Docker file, Docker code, so you can use it for the local uh, development, and a few other things which I'll go over. And then uh, this image will be pushed to the artifacts registry by the tool I built for this purpose. And uh, then, uh, yeah, it will be deployed to Cloud Run, connect to Cloud SQL, and then it will be consuming the uh, data will be coming from the three uh, buckets. Uh, but uh, before that, a little bit of uh, history and what triggered me to create this project. So for years, I've been uh, running this, what is now 18 years old uh, blog post, well, blog actually, uh, which uh, was the first uh, post created in 2006, which can also say a thing or two about my uh, age. But uh, between various providers, uh, for years it was running on uh, AWS. And I created the entire setup using various sensible roles and playbooks, which I also open sourced as part of the containerized WordPress uh, project, which was uh, also somewhat popular. Uh, and uh, I know a couple of uh, big companies used it internally uh, without ever giving me any credit or sponsoring any of my work, but that's uh, how it is with open source uh, software. So bad karma there, but uh, for the last uh, more than three years, almost uh, four years, I moved it to GK or Google Kubernetes engine as part of the WP uh, Case project. So as part of this blog post, I explained the whole setup, uh, why I uh, ended up doing this, uh, which uh, components it, uh, it uh, consisted of. Everything is the, the, described as part of this uh, blog post. And result uh, of this project was also uh, WP uh, Keys, also open source and available on uh, on uh, GitHub, which uh, allows you to have uh, WordPress on Kubernetes uh, for both private and uh, and uh, and public cloud. And uh, you can uh, read through this later, but uh, it's uh, yeah, it's somewhat uh, gained some traction. So uh, regardless, uh, however, since I wasn't satisfied with the cost of hosting a private blog on GKE and at the same time, because I was migrating from Google Photos to Synology Photos, uh, and since I had a lot of storage and this uh, whole setup consisted of two NAS devices, uh, I thought, why don't I just extend uh, my scope as part of this pri 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 private uh, cloud? and uh, get a couple of Raspberry Pis, which we all want to do, right? And just create a privately hosted WordPress uh, uh, Kubernetes cluster to have a uh, WordPress on it. And that's what I ended up doing. Uh, this is the architecture, how it looks like. I described why. I described everything from which uh, hardware I got, the SD cards uh, to UPS, uh, everything, absolutely uh, everything is uh, this described. I'll add all of the links in the description. And as part of the setup for the past three years, I've success, successfully managed uh, all of my public and private workloads, including this blog post and this blog and A2.app, Amsterdam Tool and Neural Finder, which is just a web app I created uh, that uh, can help you find the closest uh, urinal to, to, well, to, to your location. Just something to keep our uh, city, uh, city uh, streets clean. And uh, apart from a couple of hiccups, everything worked exceptionally well. Uh, like my biggest problems were actually with upgrading Kubernetes. And uh, even in this uh, case, or something went 
wrong. What I ended up doing is creating a, a Raspberry Pi micro bootstrap project. So what this project allows me to do is uh, spin up uh, the new nodes with, for example, updated Kubernetes uh, version. I would nuke the whole setup. I would provision these new nodes. And then I would just uh, using uh, the WP Kids project, I would just attach it back to the cluster. And this is how uh, everything, like this is how I would upgrade it. And this kept it very well. And earlier this year, I even created a disaster recovery failover, or in case I decided to move completely to Google Cloud, resulting in uh, app architecture with availability in mind from Kubernetes to serverless with GCP, cloud build and cloud run. And uh, again, I created a huge uh, blog post, uh, how I did it, how to set it up using a console, how I also, I even uh, created a YouTube video, how to uh, do it all. And I also created, so you can do it in a web UI or also using a Terraform. And I describe all of this, if you're interested, uh, take a look. And uh, yeah, I'd also created a new, uh, again, open source project from this. And then this summer, I faced my biggest uh, outage yet. And of course it happened while I was on vacation. Like what better time for this uh, kind of things uh, to happen? So what happened is that one of my nodes, uh, like uh, one of my servers went down and the fix would be as simple as one of my private uh, servers at home went down. And the fix would be as simple as pressing the power back, the power button back back on, which is simple to do if you're not a 1600 kilometers away on vacation. And to make it even worse, although in the back end, all of my, uh, all of my, uh, my Kubernetes cluster was healthy and it was all running because the down host was uh, one that had all of my uh, reverse proxy stuff configuration, which was basically my ingress point to the cluster. It rendered all of the resources uh, as, yeah, just down. Uh, how I fix this problem I, and how I fix my vacation is by moving uh, to Google Cloud. Uh, so moving uh, a to that app was uh, simple enough because I had the, 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 the deployment, which I uh, mentioned I created for this, which consisted of Terraform code and I literally ran it and that's, that's it. a to uh, that app was running on, uh, on Google Cloud as if nothing happened, but problem occurred with uh, migrating my existing WordPress site, uh, this site you're reading right now, from Kubernetes to Cloud Run, which is key native. And this should not be complicated. This should be a smooth uh, sailing, which didn't really turn out to be the case. So that's uh, the birth of the WP case project and how it all came to be. So on the internet, there's a couple of decent guides for setting up WordPress on Cloud Run. Uh, like, but all of the guides consist of setting up very simple hello world sites. Uh, they don't address the real life uh, scenarios with sites that include data or migrating from a stable setup with data stored on an NFS, as it was in my case, to a completely stateless architecture with storing same data in GCS buckets. Uh, Cloud Run also uh, charges you only for the traffic your site receives and the number of the uh, and duration requests and the resources that are used in this process, CPU and memory that are used by the consumer. Uh, and this makes it cost effective, which is great, especially for the sites with irregular traffic uh, patterns as it is for, for me. However, a DDoS attack, as I experienced, can cause costs to spiral. Um, none of the, the resources uh, uh, that I ran into, no one basically uh, explained how to address if this happens and how to avoid these unexpected expenses. So for example, daily costs reach uh, around six euro with 4.5 euros attributing to Cloud Run uh, instance itself. Uh, and uh, for high traffic sites, this could potentially escalate to thousands of euros. And I'll share my lessons learned that helped me reduce these costs to just around half a euro a day or just a few cents for Cloud Run. So, for example, you can see here uh, where this uh, peaked at 4.5 for Cloud Run and how, for example, I managed to minimize it to just a few cents. And uh, this is something I'll share. And this is what inspired me to design uh, an WordPress setup on Cloud Run.
WP Cloud Run project, where it prioritizes security while minimizing costs without compromising performance, whether for a personal blog, company site, web store, or anything in between. And you could also even, uh, for example, uh, yeah, just replace WordPress with whatever you want, and uh, yeah, you have a ultimate uh, Cloud Run setup. So uh, this is the appendix of uh, everything that I will cover. I will cover a lot of topics. So for example, I will create a simple stuff like uh, creating GCP artifacts also ready to store the WP Cloud Run container images. I'll uh, cover using WP uh, Cloud Run project for local WordPress development with Docker and uh, Docker Compose. Uh, I'll also explain how to set up Cloud SQL instance and create a WordPress uh, database backup. And how to, for example, do a backup uh, to a GCS bucket. I'll explain how to create the WP Cloud Run WordPress Cloud Run service. Uh, I'll also, for example, explain some things how to configure direct VP, uh, VPC egress, send traffic uh, to a VPC network for low latency in Cloud SQL. Uh, and connect uh, using a private IP instead of going through a public uh, IP route and also making it so more secure in this process. I'll also explain how to set up a WP uh, Stateless plugin to store WordPress media on GCS uh, bucket because initially <laughs> I wanted to do this just uh, read all of this from uh, bucket itself and it wasn't a good experience. I'll also explain uh, how to perform full WordPress backup and restore using all-in-one uh, WP migration and backup plugin and store these uh, backups on GCS and uh, how to do a restore. And I'll show how to point subdomain name to WP Cloud Run Cloud uh, Run service with Cloud Run domain mappings. And uh, I'll also set up uptime learning and I'll explain costs associated with WP Cloud Run projects. So for example, when I had Adidas, when the cost spiked, so even com I'm going to compare it how it compares with my uh, running everything on my private uh, Kubernetes cluster at home, and is are the costs even com comparable in terms of uh, electricity and whatnot, and then I'll explain a uh, performance scalability and preventing the wanted costs with use of CDN RAID limiting and DDoS protection. So, for example, I'll uh, create rate limiting and DDoS protection using WordFence uh, security plugin. And then I'll also uh, move the whole site to Cloud Run and I'll use the free plan and optimize sp speed uh, through cache uh, rules, CDN configuration, and then hand security settings. And uh, how to, for example, configure a super page uh, cache plugin with a Cloud uh, Flare CDN. And there's a lot of uh, cool uh, security features uh, which are part of uh, Cloud Run. So uh, with all of that said, uh, let's just get started uh, with step uh, one.